everybody, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. I want to thank everybody for coming back. Uh, thanks for all the compliments on the fades. And the reason I did the fades is because of the, I thought there were less work, but in all honesty, uh, they're just as much as more, or more. Um, let's go to the other side for a second. Let's go to the other side for a second. You can see on this one here, Jolene said, it looks like you got a missing tooth. Well, I got a few missing teeth, but this one here has got a missing spot down here. We go to the other side. Oh, and I can't get in the car. The doors are welded shut. <laughs> Basically, that's what's going on. Um, this one here is welded on. I did put a little piece of metal down there because I just wanted to get the look to see what it looked like. I just st stuck a piece of metal in there very quickly. On this part here, when I run the level across up here like that, it's very nice for the distance that's underneath there. It's really nice. But on this pod that goes, I don't know what you call it, I guess you call it a pod. The pod that goes on the side of the door, it bolts on the side of the door. It's got some bolts up that go all the way around the door. It bolts in there. Then there's two braces. One brace comes out here up front that braces it from the bottom of the door. And then there's a brace at the bottom of the door. Jolene even put a mirror on down there so she can show you what's going on. It's like, wow, she's gonna show you. But anyways, as I put the level on like this, come take a look, baby can't do that if you know what I'm trying to say I can't do that and the reason I can't do that because if you were ever to fill it out you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to try to fill that all out I mean you can if you want to but um, basically what what's going to happen is, is I'm going to try to straighten that out so I can uh, if any time that it wanted to be filled out it could be without a, a giant amount but the hood we the hood is sort of straight it's got a crown in a little bit obviously but this piece here on the, on the door is running back towards the door. So it goes up and meets the fender, then it runs back and towards the door, and that's why it's smaller at the back than it is the front. So on the other side, that's what I'm gonna do. And if you haven't noticed, I welded both of them on. And when I welded both of them on, I, did, I had the welder on this side. Tack, 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 tack. I had a welder on that side running. Went over there, tack, 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 tack. Come back over this side, tack, tack, tack. So, it, you know, it was a process, but I got them both welded on and I got this one stripped down. So basically, I haven't got the, the tooth put in there yet. Um, and because I cannot put it in there until I cut that, um, I'm not excited about cutting that um, I'm not excited about cutting that, but I, but I have to, to try to make it look right. So basically, um, there's a brace right behind, right here. There's a brace. Oh, you can't, you can see it maybe. There's a brace right there. I got my finger on it. There's a brace right there that holds that piece in. And you can see how it's a smaller distance there than it is up here, smaller distance. So that means it's running back. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut it, relief it. I'm gonna pull it out until I'm happy. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna weld the hood to this piece. When I get it straight, so I get it going straight like this, um, making myself feel a little bit better about things, about filling it out, well then I'll come back in underneath and I will try to connect that brace back together. Uh, and that will just kind of hold things in place. Maybe I can get the door cut open today because um, I can't get inside the car. Uh, basically, another thing too, um, as I put them fades on there, I think it would just be easier to do it all the way along and then cut the door open just because to to put this piece on and try to cap it and then try to put this piece on to and then cap it and try to get them all fit in the same i feel like it's 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 a longer process i like to simplify things and just weld the old hood right on the side of her i did not have to pull that hood off and on many times at all i just kind of trimmed it a little bit sanded a little bit pushed it on and welded it on. Um, that one went really quick because of the pattern on the end from that side and uh, I had the measurements exactly where I was putting it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I, I don't think I want to ask any questions today. Push that over there. Mirror, mirror on the floor, sorry. So this is not something that I'm interested in doing, but it's got to be done. Let's cut it. It's got to be done. All right. And the reason I'm this, uh, the reason I'm cutting it back away, because when I pull it out, 
there, there, there might be a distance in there and I don't want a distance. Like if I, if I take and run my grinder right along the straight like that, when I pull that out, you must realize I'm going to have a gap because I'm pulling it out, so I'm going to have a gap there. So that's why I'm going to run my grinder in on an angle a little bit and try to get in there as far as I can. Now look what I went and did. Just cut the cut. Already, it's cut. Now it kind of moves that in a little bit. That's not that's not so bad. All right, let's let's. It's not so bad. That didn't hurt my feelings so bad. Kind of went quite nice actually. Let's get a couple clamps. Doing something for the first time is a little bit, what can I say? It's a little bit, um, I'm gonna pull that out. Might wanna right. clamp it. Ooh, that holds it out and everything. Ooh, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky, lovey-dovey all the time. All right, where'd my level go? Oh, there. That's what I'm talking about. See that? Down there like that? It's nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm going to have to pry that out up there. I'll have to get in there and push that out to this. I'm just kind of wondering. I think what I'm going to do is pull it out further than I think I need it. Still got a little ways there yet. put the welder on it. I'm going to pull it out even further and then I'm going to tack it. It bit me. I'm going to turn the welder on. Jolene looks amazing today. She looks amazing today. I didn't tell you that yet today, did I, honey? Huh? First time, first time. Jolene looks amazing today. Now, I'm going to pull it out further than I think I need it. And that way there, I'm thinking I'm going to get what I need. Sometimes, sometimes um, you'll push further than you need. So for when it comes back in place, um, you will get what you need. So basically, if I pull it out to where I need it, um, it might go back in a little bit. So we're just going to tack it and try it. And then we'll go from there. That didn't go so bad. I was. I was, I don't know why I was nervous about that. Not nervous, but just, I was just what? I don't know what that word is called. What is it? I'm gonna pull it further than I need it. I'm gonna put two on it, because there's pressure. Now, where? That is I don't mind that. Not at all. Where that when that's welded up, you would have a little bit of see I can push that out. Push that out. I'm gonna push that out and get it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push that out and get it. Why would I do that? Oh. Push it up further than I need it. Is 
She loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a gap on the, on the other side, if you, did, if, you did, if you took notice. It's quite a gap. Um, I'm going to want something in there, maybe. It's going to be... I'm going to put a hammer in there. Let's see if I can... Ouch. Come on, baby. Talk to me. That's close up welder right there. I love it. Come a little harder up there. I still can get my hands up there, I can. Jolene, are you able to put that camera down and give me a hand? What do you think? She shook her head yes, boys. God love her. God love her. She shook her head yes. There's some nice welds put on that. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna try to shove it out as far as I can. Where do you want to put it? You want me to get you one? Do you want me to get you something? Do you want that post right there? You want that post? Want me to clean that off? Look at all the toothpickers. I'm addicted to picking my teeth. It's probably the only reason why they're in my head right at this present moment is I pick my, my teeth to keep them. Looks good. Now, as this, this is tacked on there, I can do the exact same thing as I did on the rest of the car. I can run the zip cut up along it and butt weld it after. Maybe, maybe not, not sure. Alrighty. What's that? Yeah. Oh yeah. You want this helmet or you want that helmet? Okay. So, oh, I can take this one off. This one's clean. I'm gonna go up underneath there and I'm gonna push that out whenever it's tight. Um, I'll tr maybe try to go in the middle first and then I'm just gonna get you to tack it if I can, okay? So I'm gonna lay down on my back. A good time to give me a kick, baby, when I'm down on my back. Go down to give me a kick. I see. Can you put one? Ouch, 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 my arm. Oh, that's sharp. That's just sharp, that's all. Sharp, I say. Sharp. Second to second. Don't weld it yet, baby. Don't weld it yet. Nope. Let's get it right there. Good. Here. Oh. Ouch. That's some sharp. She welded me in, boys. Fuck. All right. I love it. Why not? Oh, it's... One more. I got one more right up in there. What's that? I can't get my arm up in there if I do that. My arms are too big. From the, from the bicep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. This is the wrong video. All right. Try it. Second now. Uh... <sighs> 
Oh, no, that's not the one. Uh, yeah. Ah, damn it. Um, maybe, just a second. I got something. Being silly here. Being silly. Maybe I, I can't know if I can get that up in there. Um, push it on that. Too long, too long. I want half that size. Maybe I just cut it in half. Uh, just bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Um, what's that, sweetheart? I just, I just wanna, I don't wanna pry that in, I wanna push it out, remember? If I pry it in, well then I'll have a mess. Yes, I wanna pry it, look at that now, would you? Right on the floor, la ti da all right. All right. See, it's kind of short. Damn thing. I can't, I can't. on it. This is what I'm gonna do. Bear with me. Got this thing. Come on out there. Piece of square stock. Just a minute, I get a piece of square. I need a piece. Uh, I got something. Hopefully this is too long enough. Or not too long. Too long now, wouldn't it? What's holding that? All right. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Is that sweetheart? No, no. Um, just a second, just a second, just a second. I want to bring it down just a little bit. I want you to tack it right there, okay? Yep, I'm ready. If you were. Get her? Tack it again. God love you. Lord knows I do. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully you can get the next one. Push it up a little bit further. Probably wish I had that extra power on it right now with it. All right, we're just gonna go up like right there somewhere. Oh, just a second. I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. All right, you're gonna go right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm gonna tell you something. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. I'm going to. Did you notice that that was a, a big gap and, th and then it became small? Good. I can bang some of that out. What if I should knock that off? The hood's got a little bit of a crown in it too. What if I should knock them off and try to pry that out a little further? Because they came with that bar, right?
I think we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that one's too much pressure up in there. It's not cut far enough there, too much pressure. And again, let me take a look at it. down there I don't know as if we're gonna get it any better to be honest with you come take a look that's what we got going on it's not bad I mean you'd have to fill it anyways whether you butt welded it or you lapped it you'd still have to fill it knowing you're, you're I can push it out a little bit further, if you know what, because I got that bar there now. Just gonna have to. Let's try it. I'm just gonna knock these. I'm just gonna knock these four off. These four. I'm not gonna go up in here. I don't think I'm gonna go up in there any further. But I'm gonna knock these four off, and see if I can't just pry it out a little bit further. There's no reason why I can't. And the way the way we'll know is. You'll see. Stop it. There we go. Alrighty. Put your thing down, sweetheart. Come give me a hand. Where's that bar at? Just kind of, we, you can see where it's welded now, right? So when I pry it out and it comes out a little bit further, then we'll nail it, okay? Because I don't think we're gonna get it out there any further, right there. And it probably was good enough the way it was, but that's what, that's what you do, I guess, when you try to make it better, try to make it better, is uh, just keep playing with it. So up here, I'm saying that we're so far up in the curve that we're going to leave alone. I'm not going to be able to do no prime, prying there. But see where I got it here? See where I got it disconnected? One, two, three, all these places here. If I can pry it out so that weld comes away from that a little bit, then we'll nail it, okay? Uh, now, I don't know if I can get it out any further or not, to be honest with you. All right. All right. All right. That's the rocker there. Got it? Good. Now I have to get something small. shorter than that. Um, that pry, where to have that pry, can you grab me that pry bar there please, sweetheart? Was it out further? Okay. Well, it's all we can do is make it feel like it is. Let's get that one. Got it? Good. I don't know if that stayed or not. We get it out, but stop it. 
Stop it. Try that one. This one. Right there. She got me. Yeah, go for it. Look like I'm right back. Eh, eh. I'm just looking and seeing. That's all I'm doing, looking and seeing, see if I got dope further or not. Oh, 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 get your camera. I guess the ho, ho, ho explained it all, did it not? Yeah. So, um, let's go to the other side first. Come with me. And this one, you know, this one's just tacked on there. So we went from that to that. Very happy, very happy. I'm gonna turn the welder on, tack it so it stays in place real good, and uh, call that very happy. Thank you, Jolene, couldn't have done it without you. So basically, I, I, I slit that. I am not going to try to butt weld that. I got it laid over there just a little tiny bit, and it does not matter to me because it's fitting too nice. I wouldn't want to mess with it and, and try to get it messed with it because it's going to have to be, uh, you'd have to fill it anyways. And where I have that so nice, or where it's so nice, lovey-dovey, um, I would not mess with it. So basically, this is nice and straight now. I'm happy with, with this. We had a little bit of gap up there I showed you. I'm happy with this, so I'm just gonna tack it on so it stays. So it's tight. Yeah, I'm gonna tack it on so it stays. Very happy. Couple more times. You can pretty well butt weld it there. That's why it blew through. There. Awesome. Awesome. So we put the Look at that, huh, baby? Beautiful, I was waiting for that. Beautiful, she said, beautiful. So I had a brace in there. Can't really see it right at the present moment. Ooh, that's nice. I think I can. So there's this piece that went in, inside here like this, goes this piece here, connected to the back piece. They have about a half inch lip that's bent over. It keeps, keeps it structured. That's why I left a half inch on this because that line will stay straight. If I cut it off, if I cut that, ha that little bend off and left it straight, well then the bottom of that hood would have a chance of going all wavy on me. With, it, with the break in it and a little bit bent over, it stayed in shape. So that's what they did on this thing. They left a half inch all the way along there. When I pulled that out, when I cut that and pulled that out, there's a half inch left on there. Well, there's a, the piece it pulled away from is like this. I'm gonna show you, there's, this piece here is out, this piece here is out here now. The inside piece is here. This inside piece turns in half an inch. There's a piece that comes down this, it turns off inside a half inch, but it welds right to the face of that. So that'll be nice for me to be able to go in there. Um, so it goes down, half inch goes in, I can weld to face this, and then there's a half inch it goes in. So it'll all be connected back together again. I'm gonna take a light and I'm gonna connect it back together because um, that will give the structure back and it. it can't go anywhere. Or it's not gonna go anywhere. Once I weld that back together, that's a good thing. That's a, that's a happy moment.
I can show you that. You want to see Jolene? Jolene wants to see you. You're kicking the mirror over to me. He says, show them, show them. All right. Come on the other side. And I'm going to point to where I'm talking about. Right at the edge. Of, see my finger right here? See that edge? This edge. You see it down there. That edge will weld to the face of the other edge. So basically we pulled it out that far. That was the gap we had. Now I can weld this piece over to this, this I can weld this piece to this piece. I'm not going to put it back together, but I can weld them back together so they stay in place. And she does that for people on YouTube, I, I guess. She does that for you guys so you guys know, what, know what's going on. And that means the brace will be back together. Everything will be back together that's been cut. And that's a good thing. Spotting it. Getting it back together. Just building it up a little bit, which is good. You can see where I welded it back together down there. If you can, you see where I welded it back together? Huh? And weld that back together. So now the brace is holding that and holding the piece that we've cut. So we're in pretty good shape there. Nothing that I, I would worry about taking off because it's welded back together again. Whoop whoop, loving that. Gonna have to adjust the bottom of the fender. Uh, this just kind of drove that in. I was wondering that. But this is what, this is the big, there's what I wanted right there, baby. That's what I wanted right there. I think that, whoa, that's fitting good. Alrighty. So that'll have to be welded up. Um, bum, 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 bum. We want to get the door open. That's what we want to do. Did we want to get the door open? Try to? What's that? Um, I have to, where this, where this, I got this straight now, where I got that going good now. Now and I had to do it to the other side. I kind of wished I would have done it before we done the video. I could have had it ready to rock and roll and do it, but there's nothing better than doing it live. Basically, you get to see me fight through the situation and it's basically what you have to do. If you do it, you have to fight through the situation, get it too and figure it out. But where I have, where I have the door or this piece going on here, uh, the hood going, this is, was a 37 Chevy hood or whatever hood it was. I left that 90, I left a little 90 half inch rolled underneath so it kept that straight. If I would have cut that off, like I said, I cut that off, this would have had a chance to go blah, 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 all on, didn't want that. But what I have to do now is I have to make a piece that goes from the bottom of the hood over to the sill or connect it to the sill so when I cut the door open, this does, it does not take off. So if I took and cut the door open now, there's nothing, nothing holding it, basically. It's like the trunk lid. When I, when I, if I took the trunk lid off before I cut it and laid it down, that opening would have a chance to move and go wherever, wherever it wanted to. With the trunk lid nailed down all the way around the edges, when I moved it down, it made the hole stay in the shape that it's supposed to be. So basically what I'm saying is I've got to hold this, hold this down so you can see how it can move. If I cut this now, well, that can move in. Well, then I, got, then I have to play with the door and play with this piece and play with the quarter panel piece. Basically, what I'm saying is I've got to lock this piece down. I'm, I'm going to have a hard time locking this piece down because the door is up inside. But if I lock one of them down, I have something to go by to, to make it go. So if I lock this one down on, on this one, If I lock this one down, then I can cut the door open. Then I'll have something to go by up here. Should I go for that? Or get it locked down anyways, eh? I can cut the door open then. Um, this is what I'm thinking. As I have 
This piece, you can see, you can see the gap here where I've what I got going on. You can see the gap. I can make a little tiny sliver and put it in there. I don't think I want to do that. I, what I think I want to do is I want to put a piece all the way over to this 90 here and bend it down and add it to that. And then I can bring a nice new piece all the way over. Shove it. Let's, let's make a piece and then you'll see what I got, what I want to do or what I'm thinking about doing. Um, I want, I want a piece of metal. Hopefully that'll be long enough. I'm going to bring the grinder. Kind of a, this is all I got right now. And if, if my, or Jolene's um, interior guy's watching Floyd, my friend Floyd Hilt's watching, I bought you a piece of metal and I'm sorry I cut it. I'll have to get you another piece, but we had you a piece of metal. Anytime you want your metal, you just let me know and we'll get it, have it for you. Alrighty, we got a straight edge there. I always grab my straight edge if I can. Always. Cut that off. I'm hoping that's long enough. It's close. Close. Don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna go by the mirror. I'm gonna go by this piece. So, basically, it would be nice to. I'm probably a little bit shy of metal there. Damn it. That's okay. I can. So basically, I have to get another piece of metal. This is too shy. But this is what I'm thinking. If I take and I'll just do it for shits and giggles and I'll have to get and make a piece. So if I, this is what I'm thinking. A 90 here. Put a 90 there. This piece is too short. I'm gonna have to cut a different piece, but I'll show you what I mean, what I'm going to do. Got a, got a 90 there. I bent it the wrong way, obviously. It was nice of me to do, wasn't it? Duh. Bent it the wrong way. But this wasn't the piece I was using. This is basically what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the 90 in there. I bent it the wrong way, should have went the other way. I'm going to put the 90 in there like that, and then come in here with a marker and trace it off this way. And then I'm going to shove this piece up underneath that half inch piece that I have. So this half, so I'm going to take and put that on there like that, bend a 90 on a piece, come out here with a marker, trace it off, cut it, put it back in, put it back in there, and then put this piece of metal underneath the, the, the little half inch lip that I have so this disappears. So we'll end up capping the sill with a brand new piece of metal. We'll have to drill holes in this just like they had look the factory holes in there. But that's what I'm going to do for the back piece. That'll keep this in place so for when I cut the door open. Do you want me to do it or? Alrighty, that's what I'm doing. I bent this the wrong way. This should have went, should have bent down that way, but this piece of metal is not big enough. I'm gonna have to get myself a nice piece of straight edge. Everything I got is kind of chewed up. Wasn't ready for that, kind of wasn't ready for that. But I'm very happy with what went on with the door pod there with the fadeaway. Both fadeaways are welded on. So I'm gonna bend a 90 piece, shove it in against the sill, mark it there, 
put it back down there, shove it. There's a half inch piece on that, on that, fade, on that fade there underneath. I'm going to shove that inside of it, put this piece against the sill that comes down. I'm going to tack it along here, and then I'll tack the half inch doot, 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 along there, and then there'll be holes in that, and it'll look brand new. I can even make it look like the factory. I can take and drill a hole in it, put a pair of, put a, anything in it, and just pry down on it sort of make it look factory. Maybe instead of drilling a hole, make a cut like they did, put a screwdriver in it and bend it down like that and do the exact same thing. All right, everybody, thanks. For, thanks very much for coming back and watching. I know that um, uh, the pods are the visual, or not the pods, the, the fades are the visual, but there's so much more work involved to make them actually work and, and uh, look good and be a part of the car. So I have to make sure I have to connect them at the bottom at the, at the at the sill. And I have to make sure I connect it this bottom part at the bottom of the door. Have to cut them open yet. Have to fill in the missing teeth. There's a couple things I have to do. Hopefully I can get this one done and then we'll do the other one on the other side and we'll go over the whole thing. Like, subscribe, ring my friend ring my bell, whatever. I'm kind of in the moment for a second. But uh, thanks for coming back. And we'll make sure that we go over the whole thing with you on the other side. We'll get this done on the other side. And then we can make sure we go over what we did on the bottom and show you that sort of stuff to make it work. And maybe we'll get a door cut open tomorrow if you come back. All right, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.